name's Jack Johnson Walsh, and I'm an artist, student, and a barista. I grew up in Rochester Hills with my mom and dad and my siblings. I would say how I was raised definitely helped me discover my interests because um, my parents raised me uh, with the intention to like find like find what makes me happy rather than what makes me profitable. I discovered my major by going to school for two years in the sciences and realizing how unhappy I was and how jealous I was of everyone I knew who was working in the arts and then last year I finally decided, all right, it's time to make that change and I never looked back. I like um, the, I like the opportunities and like the broad definition of my major and what I can do with it and the things that I get to explore within it. I would say everything around me and like everything that I see and experience in my life inspires my art, especially things personal to me. When I tell people I'm an art major, they, a lot of times they like say like, what do you work in? Or um, like, what are you going to do with that? And I'm just like, I don't always have an answer because sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with it quite yet. I'm still figuring that out. And when I, when they ask me, what do I work in? I tell them everything. I think I'm still discovering my passions um, in school and in life. And I think that's like a permanent thing that like everyone goes through. Like you'll never like stop finding things that you're passionate about. I think I myself prompt myself to do them because who else is gonna tell me what to do? I think um, from doing what I do, I gain freedom to express myself and also just like, I gain like the upper hand against people who don't really understand what I'm doing. Well, I discovered coffee, unfortunately, through Starbucks. Um, when I was a kid, I was all about it. And then I started, as I like started to like venture further outside my hometown and like my taste started to develop, I became more interested in craft coffee, which is a little bit like more elevated and focuses more on like the subtle subtle qualities of different beans and that really interested me. I think my favorite thing about working at Strange Matter is that it is a queer owned business, uh, also female owned business and it's just everyone, it feels like a very comfortable space to work in and I feel like I'm heard and my opinion is like seen and taken, actually taken into account rather than if I was working at Starbucks where it's not as focused on the quality of the product and it's a little bit more commodified. Music is a huge part of my lifestyle. I spend a gigantic chunk of my day with my headphones in just listening to music when I work, when I'm commuting, when I'm at work, when I'm at school, it's just, um, I think it influences everything. <laughs> um, for the future, I just really want to delve deeper into myself and try to figure out um, why, like, at the core I'm doing what I want to do, because sometimes I don't even know that. And I'm actually transferring to College for Creative Studies, which is a private art school in Detroit, and hoping to be able to better articulate these things by chasing opportunities there. To get to my goals, I plan to work really hard, um, and just like, honestly, I just plan to like keep doing what I'm doing and trying to figure out more in this new environment.